back to my YouTube channel, hashtag Movie Bay. I am Movie Bay, and in this video, I'm just going to be doing a review over the season finale of P Valley. Now, spoiler alert, I did not like the season finale. I feel like a lot of us did not like the season finale. Um, here are my gripes with it. So let's go ahead and start with Haley Lakeisha Savage. Um, I personally feel like, thank God her storyline is over. The actress kind of like bowed out and was like, Haley's storyline has come to a close and I feel like we can all agree. Um, I did not like how they sent her off though. Like the little whimsical, I'm in a new city with my pregnant babies and shit like that. Like they could have kept that whole scene. Like she could have just like lived with the scene like when she was with Cliff and Big L and M. We didn't need to see her hopping off a bus. We can use our context clues for that. Mississippi. Oh, good God. I am so over her storyline. I personally would have preferred if she died, if we're being honest. I feel like it's dragging, 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 dragging. So she dropped the kids off at her sister's house, who she hadn't spoken to in years, by the way. Never mentioned a sister. We only knew she had a sister in the Cinderella episode. And all of a sudden, you're entrusting your sister with these kids. For your escape plan, it was dumb from the beginning. Um, and then, you know, it was messed up that the mama pulled a, a Tina Turner and called the husband or whatever to come get the kids or whatever. That was messed up. But I, I felt like the initial build with Keyshawn, like, damn, she really about to get out. Like, the initial build was cool until, like, she pulled up on murder. And I was like, this bitch making a lot of stops. It's a lot going on, bitch. Don't you got something to do? You need to do it. So at that moment, that's when I knew that Mississippi not getting out of this. It's not going to end well for her. I personally wanted her to just die, but instead she's in jail because of, you know, she was the only black person in the house full of whites. <laughs> and that's how that shit turned out. Um, but no, like I'm over it. Don't drag this shit to season three. I'm over it. I feel like a lot of us are over it because it's like, where can this storyline go? We know where it can go, but it hasn't went there. It's been two fucking seasons and she's still getting beat on. Like, it's played out. It's tired. Let's go ahead and talk about Andre and Corbin. We don't care. Andre lost the race. Um, I kind of thought he was going to win just to, because I, I thought they were going to try to keep him and Haley on the show for some reason. And that would be the only reason I could think of. Um, since Haley's gone, Andre is next to go. Thank God for Jesus. His wife coming back and seeing him with Haley. And having the nerve to get upset was dumb as hell. Like, you literally was just sucking some dude off two nights ago. But you got the nerve to come down here and look at me like I did something wrong. Make it make sense. And then I know I might be a hypocrite because on the episode where Andre caught his wife, I was like, well, why is he mad when he was cheating on her too? It's just all toxic and it's all annoying and it's all irrelevant, irrelevant and we don't care. I don't care. Corbin... I feel like the fact that he just realized that, hey, I could build the casino on my own land that's by fucking water instead of trying to buy a land that's by fucking water is stupid. How stupid can you be? How dumb could you be? I would have rather built it on my land from the fucking beginning because it's mine, 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 mine. I got to pay nobody for shit. It's mine. And that just ups my property value. Like, how dumb can you be to not even realize that? Diamond storyline is whatever. Everybody saw that shit coming from a mile away. Um, everybody knew Big Bone was a, connected to Martavius or Montavious. I feel like they shot all of Diamond's scenes in two days because he was hardly in the season. So let's just write him off. If y'all hear background noise, it's raining now. So I just want to let y'all know. Um, Cliff storyline. Uh, first off, I'm happy that Loretta Devine did not pass away. I feel like she's is a wonderful comedic relief to this show. Um, Cliff and Murda. I don't know. Like I, I, I. Those were my two favorite characters. They are my two favorite characters. I just something in me just does not feel the chemistry between Cliff and Murda. I feel like every time they're on the scene, all they are talking about is somebody coming out of the closet. Like, that's the whole consistency of their relationship to me. I feel like Murda only likes Cliff because Cliff can authentically be himself. And that's what Murda can't do. I feel like that's the only chemistry they really have 
Now, I don't know. I mean, people really think they in love. I just don't see that shit. So it, it gets annoying to me, especially I feel like after I saw Murder with Teak and I'm like, now that's real chemistry. To me, that's real love. Like they talked about Buku's amount of shit. But every time Murder and Cliff are on the screen together, they're talking about the same shit and it's getting redundant. Now, continuing on into Murder and his like little individual storyline. So with um, the red and green and the blue and yellow gang beefing or whatever, I really feel like, I don't want to say it's stupid, but it's not believable. So the blue and yellow gang, Mang's gang, is kind of like gunning for Murder because Murder killed Pico. Pico is a flip, though. Pico was HVH, and then he went over to the blue and yellow gang. First off, why would y'all accept another nigga from another gang? First off, like, ain't that against code or something? Second off, why are we riding so hard for a flip-ass dude? Like, he has no leverage in our clique, for real. He ain't one of the leaders. Why are we riding so hard for him? It just, it, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's just unbelievable to me. And then... Pico really legit signed his own death certificate by claiming a body online. Like the moment you did, the moment he posted that shit, I was like, he going to die. He deserves to die because that's dumb. So I am happy that Murder went in the studio and he didn't say verbatim that he killed somebody. But he definitely did a song about killing somebody. And of course, it was the seven pounds of pressure shit that was like an ongoing theme through this whole season, which... In my mind, was kind of like cool and cheesy at the same time. Um, I personally feel like murder isn't going to be on P-Valley past season three. I feel like um, J. Alphonse, I think that's his name. I feel like he, I, I ain't going to say that he deserves better, but I feel like he should definitely take his talents elsewhere and so he can grow and bloom and blossom because I really feel like he is the best actor on this show. Um, let's get into Mercedes. Actually, before we get into Mercedes, I guess I should mention about um, Murder coming out basically in front of Cliff and all their close friends. Um, first off, Duffy's reaction was funny as hell to me. But I feel like that could be the only season, I mean, on, the only storyline for season three for Little Murder to me um, is kind of trying to be, and I don't want to put this rapper's name out there, but I guess like a Little Nas X and trying to, you know, be this gangster rapper while being open about his sexuality. But I don't know. I feel like that could only go so far. So that kind of feeds into why I feel like this is, Season three will be his last season, especially because it's P Valley and you can't really venture too far off from what's going on in Mississippi. All right, let's go ahead and get to Mercedes. I, uh, Mercedes is the only person, in my opinion, that had like a good outcome. First off, when she first met up with Farrah uh, for the Mercedes Experiment art exhibit and I was like, okay, but bitch, where my money? Because you can't use my likeness and not give me any money. And then we did find out that... Um, Farrah did, uh, I guess I like give her royalties for that exhibit and Mercedes used the money to open a pole dancing class. And I feel like that's a, that's a smart move. Great business plan. I really did want to see her get her, um, Miss Dion from like the dancing dolls. I, cause I, I'm not gonna lie. Like season one, the reason I watched, I wanted to watch P Valley was because of that scene when she was like, uh, you got to go full out. And I was just like, I was getting my Dancing Dolls vibes. And I was like, ooh, I want to watch this show. That was the whole reason I watched P-Valley, like, for real. Um, I, so I did want to see her have a dance studio. But I do think that the pole dancing is more appropriate, I guess you can say. Um, the fact that Mama Patrice gave her, like, temporary custody of her own daughter, by the way. Um, I feel like, you know, that's cool. That's what Mercedes wanted. I just personally wouldn't want to raise a 14-year-old child <laughs> because it ain't going to be too many. Um, you was never there for me and you don't love me and da da da. It ain't going to be too many of that. It ain't going to be too many of that. Okay? Not too much of that. So I just couldn't. I personally couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it looks like Mercedes, because Mercedes was taking a lot of hits this season and she finally got had something good happen for her. I also feel like that's probably why we 
or I don't like Mississippi storyline because Mississippi was taking a lot of hits this season, literally and figuratively. And she did not come on, come out on top and not nan way at all. And it's been like that season one and season two. And I'm just over that. Um, the only thing I am interested for in season three, and I do believe it'll be a season three because I just don't see why not. Like the ratings, the buzz, the trending stars would be a fucking fool to not renew this season. Um, and give Katori Hall what she's worth and what she's asking for. The only thing that would that I would watch season three for is honestly the strip club drama in P Valley. So y'all know Roulette is basically running like a brothel out of the pink, and that would probably be the only thing that piques my interest about a season three because I don't get me wrong. I enjoy the stories that has happened this season, the conversations that they have sparked. They have been amazing, okay? I just personally want to get back to the lifestyle of sex workers and the lot and the things that they go through. Like that kind of piques my interest more than um you know, some of the storylines that are on the show like a fucking casino and politics and I don't care about none of that stuff so uh, if first off I don't know if y'all can tell but based off of my review of the season finale I am pro- I'm like 80% not going to watch season three of P-Valley um, if if I do I'm definitely just gonna watch the first episode maybe the first two and if it doesn't hold nor pink my interest I'm not gonna watch I'm not gonna watch because I feel like P Valley to me in my head for me has just run its course and I'm no longer interested so thank y'all so much for tuning into my YouTube channel be sure you hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for future content like this video if you enjoyed my commentary leave a comment down below is movie bay tripping like, are you still feeling me, Valley? Are y'all going to watch the season three? Let me know, okay? Um, thank y'all for tuning in, and I'll see y'all next time. It's a date.